Good evening, everybody. Good evening. My name is Frederick Mack. I'm a native Washingtonian. I'm 54 years old. I'm a father of 10. All of them grown now, so it's my turn. I lived in a person of 27 years. I mean, I've been in the area all my life, but in the last 27 years, I've lived right down the street from Prairie School. And at first, I didn't know about the lift program. Tonight, I'm here to share a little bit about my life and my work with lift. Two years ago, I have had some health challenges. So I had to uh, enroll to a treatment program to help me stop drinking, because um, I needed to stop drinking because my health was kind of getting ready to go down, but I wanted to catch it before it got too far away. All right, so I enrolled in an alcohol treatment program. And before that point, I, was always, I always had a job. I'm a sous chef, all right? But after 60 days in the program, I came out trying to look for a job, and it was hard to find a job. Because one thing, these days, you got to be, I'm computer a little bit. I didn't, I don't know how to use a computer at that time. And um, to have a job these days, you got to have to use a computer. Just not just me, everybody. You got to have computer skills to do so much today. So I came up to the lift program. Come in sometimes, get a, use the phone. Sometime I come there, you get documents, facts, or something. But I didn't know about the program as far as to help you find jobs and everything. So I used to come in, I see everybody sitting in the cubicles, and I'm like, what's going on in here? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All these people just sitting there, so I'm just using the phone and get somebody facts on. So I asked a, 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 a volunteer, a young lady named Rebecca. So she explained everything that was going on the lift. So what I did was I made an appointment to uh, come see them about trying to find me some employment. So she helped me find, helped me sit down, show me about Craigslist and how to make a resume and the cover, uh, cover page and things that I didn't know I needed to go look for a job these days, you know what I'm saying? So she showed me all this, and she was explaining how everything go. I said, huh? She said, yeah, this is how it is now. <laughs> I was kind of like in shock, you know? But she guided me on her and the other volunteers when she couldn't help me. If she had somebody else, somebody else in there would help me out. They taught me a lot of stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? What I needed to get ahead. But I was just so shocked that the recession was that, that bad. That it was so hard for me because I always made to get a job. As long as people eat in D.C., I'm always going to have a job. But this time, I had trouble, you know? So when I started working with them, she would help me every day. I mean, we put out like over 40 resumes in an average of three weeks, 24 applications. Still couldn't get a job, but they stuck with me. I made my appointments every week. I came there all the time. And now, um, I have a part-time job. No, I mean, I have a part-time job because I'm also enrolled in school at the Community, community College of D.C. OK. I'm also working on my Oh, I have my food handler's license today, yeah. okay? I'm working on a SRO, a single room, I can you know, get on my own. I also, I'm with um, a group called Back on My Feet program. I've ran over 150 miles <laughs> since uh, June. I also now belong to a group called Concerned Black Men, yes. okay? And I'm been working on my, I'm about to be the grandfather number 11. <laughs> there she is right there. OK. But um, the main thing that got me with the program was the way they treated me when I first got there. I mean, it was so nice. Spent the time with me. I'm not used to stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? So I just gave it all to help me. To so help me get back on my feet. And, uh, I've really met some good people there. All of them, Ben, everybody, the whole staff, they, all, they really helped. And then when I come out the building, you see people that are so happy that they came, that people that, the other people that have been dealing with them during the, the day that I was there, and oh, I'm so glad they're there, and I, a lot of people didn't know about them. 
You know, we used to come in the building all the time. We didn't see, we didn't know about a lift. We knew about Center City, but we didn't know about the lift program. Center City does a lot for people too, but we didn't know about the lift program. And the only thing I want to say now, they treated me so good, they brought my self-esteem up. You know what I'm saying? Gave me some hope. Because it was a hard time. I'm telling you, three and a half months of looking for a job was rough. Me, three and a half years. I had over 35 years of experience in cooking. And it took me that long to get a job. But they stuck with me. They got me a job. And they got me, uh, I feel good about myself today. You know what I'm saying? So part of my new job, I spread the word about Lyft. I tell everybody in the transitional home, anybody need help to come to the Lyft program, because you will get help if you want it. You know, and I'm just like to say, God bless Lyft and the volunteers. Thank you.